I'm inviting in some of the leading business people in America to come in and talk about the state of the economy, our recovery package. We're going to talk a little bit, God willing, about infrastructure down the road and uh, also about, uh, a little about the minimum wage. But uh, I want to thank each of them for being here uh, and uh, participating. Uh, I think they're, uh, as I've said before, you've heard me say it to labor groups and others as well, that uh, American people are hurting. There's a lot of people are in real, real trouble. A lot of people going to bed at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering whether they're going to be in that apartment the next day, or they're going to be evicted, or they're going to keep their mortgage payment up, uh, they're going to have any health insurance. Uh, we got millions of people unemployed. As Secretary Yellen has pointed out, we have a sparring effect that may be going on that could get worse. We have kids not in school. There's a whole range of issues, but I think they're all soluble. I think they're all within our capacity. As you know, I've met for a long time with uh, my Republican colleagues. Uh, I've been exchanging uh, correspondence with them and telephone calls as well to see if there's any way we can follow up beyond where we are and meeting with the members of the House and the Senate as well. And uh, I think we're uh, I think we're in a position to uh, to think big and move big and to move in a direction that uh, can be not only get the economy back on its feet, but we have to get people well before we get people on their feet. And we focus a lot of the attention on making sure that we deal with the coronavirus, get it under control. As you know, you went through all the detail with me on what we're doing on the coronavirus and the funding mechanisms that exist within this package, as well as we have to deal at the same time with the with uh, employment. We have to deal with the same time with business and growth of the economy. We can't let one wait. We can't get everybody well and then move on the economy. We have to move quickly on both. And I'm anxious to hear what these business leaders have to say about how they think I'm approaching this issue, we're approaching this issue, and to see if we can find some common ground. I know I've found some common ground with some of my Republican friends, a lot of Democrats as well. So. I'm optimistic. So, thank you all for coming in. Appreciate it. I am not. Look, I told you before. I have a job. My job is to keep people. We've already lost over 450,000 people. We're going to lose a whole lot more if we don't act and act decisively and quickly. A lot of people, as I said, are going. To, a lot of children are going to bed hungry. A lot of families are food insecure. They're in trouble. That's my job. The Senate has their job. They're about to begin it. I'm sure they're going to conduct themselves well. And uh, that's all I'm going to have to say about impeachment. Thank you.